everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about a very 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 important topic from oral surgery which you read in final year of dentistry. So without wasting time, let's get started. Myself Dr. Surbisani for watching Dr. Surbisani dental series and medical video. Today I am going to talk about the pterygomandibular space. A very important question for your viva, a very important question to remember, a very important topic as asked in your viva as well as in your final year exam. So, without wasting time, let's understand it very well. Suppose, this is the ramus of the mandible and I am the pterygomandibular space in between and this is the medial pterygoid. Let's say this hand is the ramus of the mandible and this is the medial pterygoid which is arising from the medial surface of the ramus of the mandible. In this situation and then you have to learn the boundaries of the pterygomandibular space. So laterally is the lateral surface of the ramus of the mandible, medially is the medial pterygoid muscle. Anteriorly is the pterygomandibular raphe, posteriorly is the deep portion of the parotid gland, superiorly is the lateral pterygoid muscle and inferiorly is the pterygomesecric sling. So that's all about the boundaries of the pterygomandibular space. Now one more question is, as you said that anteriorly there is the pterygomandibular raphe. So one question of knowledge is arises that how does pterygomandibular raphe made up of? Pterygomandibular raphe is made up of the interlacing of the tendinous fibers of the superior constrictor muscle of the pharynx and the vaccinator muscle in front. So that's from the pterygomandibular raphe. Question is very very important to learn the inferior alveolar nerve block as well as to give or to inject the inferior alveolar nerve block. You need to locate this and learn this topic very well. The contents of the pterygomandibular space is the it consists of the inferior alveolar nerves, veins, artery, lingual nerve, nerve to myeloid, and sphenomandibular ligament and fascia. All about the important topic of telecomandibular space boundaries as well as its content. You like this video and if you are new on my channel, do subscribe my channel and share my videos as much as you can. If you still have any query, you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen. You can also follow me on my Instagram with my Instagram ID shown on your screen. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the playlist section of my channel. Stay connected. Thank you for watching.